In an application server environment, one of our capabilities is to work with a concept called sessions. So if we have a client machine, on that particular client machine, we're going to store a unique session identifier. This unique session identifier is going to identify this particular client's browser process amongst all other browser processes that are currently accessing my particular web application. This particular information is going to be stored as a dynamic cookie on the client machine inside of memory. Every time a message is going to be generated out of the client machine, we're building an HTTP message and sending that across to the application server. The session ID information is going to be embedded inside of the HTTP message itself in the header area. So that information is going to be retrieved and received by the application server. Now the application server is going to take the information, the state-based data, and that's essentially what sessions allow us to do, is retain information on the application server that's unique to an individual customer. So I can take this state-bound information, or more colloquially called shopping cart data, and I can store it on the application server, and I'm going to store it underneath a unique identifier called the session ID for that particular customer. Every time the application server now responds back to the client and generates message information back, that unique session identifier is going to be embedded directly in the response message. So once again, in the header area of the message, we're going to embed this unique session identifier. So the round trip of the message now is always going to include the session identifier uniquely uh, identifying my particular client amongst all others accessing the application server. In addition to that, all of my shopping cart or state data can be stored on the application server and keyed off of this unique identifier, the session ID.